Manoj Prabhaka is the danger. Well struck. Kapil have over pitching and very firmly. Edges it safely, expensive and erratic. But Javagal Srinath coming into the attack. Sri Lanka made 50 in the 16th over. 20th over and this is the 5th bowler tried. Here's Kumle, the 6th bowler for India. That 28 minutes of batting. Well struck, but straight to the field. Uh, he's as Sanat Jayasurya walked in, so too. Prantuga. Oh, well played. And equally well played. Rises. Every run match coming into telling effect and Kalpage's defense of the total. Well struck by Manoj Prabhaka. Wrapped on the pad, he's gone. Pramod Mohamed Azaruddin took a gamble, came in ahead of Sachin Tendulkar. He has taken two centuries of Sri Lanka in one day cricket. Well struck. Very firmly played. And this is good cricket. Azaruddin. Should have been cut off. Two fielders failing to get to that ball. Asanka Gurusinghe finally gets there. It didn't pass that wicket. Well struck over the top. Still 15 overs and the fielders have to be within the circle. Arvind De Silva fields. And again another waiver delivery. Again going over the top this time to cover. Kalpage has the long chase. Over in 60 minutes of batting. Guru Singha, first change, slower delivery, dropped it short, and Azarodin. But good call by Manish Prabhakar. Murli Dharan. Oh, he dropped it. Came a long way to get his hands to it. And he dropped it. Prabhakar, a life there for him. Excellent effort by the bowler. Well, that was uh, very firmly struck over the top on the onside. Four runs, Wake and mid-wicket region. Well. Azaruddin down the track, hoisting that one over. That went a long way. And that's six. Six runs of Muralidharan's sixth over. Again down the track. Similar stroke to the very next delivery and it was six once more. Fifteen runs coming off that Murali Dharan over. Druan Kalpage introduced into the attack. The 50 partnership between the two batsmen coming up in 55 minutes of 12.5 overs. Position, Manoj Prabhakar's fourth one day half century playing in his 93rd match. Again wide of the field four more. Prabhakar batting with a lot of assurance, that was his fourth boundary. India's 100 coming in the 26th over of 103 minutes of batting. Azaruddin quietly turns it over. And that's his second half century at the Ketarama in successive matches. And his 21st in one day cricket, playing in his 156th match. Well played Mohamed Azaruddin. Sanat Jayasurya introduced into the attack. Lofted on the offside. Fine shot from Manoj Prabhakar. Azaruddin goes over the top. He scored at mid on by Asanka Gurusinghe. That was just after the second water break with India on 152 and it's 3 for 152 in the 36th over. Promote the Vikram Singhas 8th over. Driven. To long on. So one more to Kabaka. He's on seven eight seven. Must have been stumping 
chance. We'll have to wait for the replay. But certainly, here, here he comes. Pass against out. He's well out of the crease. Then that must go down as a chance. And here's Mulligan. Click to A to backward square leg. As he goes. Kalavitana not able to get that ball thing at all. I think even the wicket keeper didn't cater for that turn. Definitely a chance. I think Tendulkar was very lucky to do that. This is Kabaka Taki, another one away to Ranatunga, a short square leg. So India now on 161 for 3. Tendulkar is on four and Kubak on seventy-eight. And Muladin removed from the firing line very effectively by Avrin. He gave for two successive sixes. He has come back. Good over there from Mulligan, rather unfortunate. They didn't get a wicket. How did thoroughly deserve that wicket? Mulligan, after some very uh, tight bowling in the beginning, was given the rough treatment by Azharuddin, who hit him for 15 runs of one over. And now, having been brought back after the dismissal of Azharuddin, he should have got Tendulkar had uh, Kaluvitharna collected that ball and stopped. Sanat Jayasurya to Manish Prabhaka. Down the track, plays it officially. Taken well by Ruan Kalpage at Kaba. So it's 4 for 175. Prabhaka, fine knock, 172 minutes. And he hit four boundaries, facing up to 126 balls. Jayasurya's eighth over. Bold him, Praveen Amre gone. That ball turned a long way. It's 5 for 178 in the 43rd over. This was Murali Dharan's last over and a rich reward for the bowler. First forward, then back, trying to play it through vacant slip. That's the third time Praveen Amre was out in that fashion. This one in. Wrapped on the pad. He's gone without scoring. 6 for 179 in the 44th over. He was not pleased, but... There was no doubt about that decision. Wrapped from in front and Jayasurya striking well. Vijay Yadav, the new batsman. He's the wicket keeper. Bold him. Played across the line. 7 for 180 in the 45th over. Sri Lanka. Getting back into this game, Yadav down the track, it was too early for him to do something special, hitting leg stump and well bowled Ruan Kalpage. Anil Kumle, the new batsman, the feeling was absolutely fabulous at this stage. Neatly played, oh, a wild throw from the Sri Lankan captain. Really, there shouldn't have been any run and finally India made two. Tendulkar turns him, he wants to get the strike, the throw comes in, he's gone, Sachin Tendulkar is out, 8 for 189 in the 46th over, India losing wickets at regular intervals and a superb effort from Chandika Hathuru Singer, he had almost everything right with that one, a perfect collection and a beautiful return right into the gloves of Romesh Kalavitarna with Sachin Tendulkar desperately lunging to make ground but well short of it. Very good decision. Rajesh Chawan, the new batsman, but Kumle taking strike. Drives on the offside. The field was packed on the on. Hashan Tilakaratan, the fielder. A couple to Anil Kumle. 
the crowd really brought to their feet at this stage. Full toss, he's gone. Rajesh Chawan is out. Caught and bowled by Ruan Kalpage picking up his second wicket. The penalty mat over here and India in deep trouble. Two wickets in 16 balls, Ruan Kalpage in his sixth over. Firmly struck but Kalpage had it all well covered. The last man in was Javagal Srinath and the entire Sri Lankan team had rallied around their captain to make sure. Aravind De Silva came in to bowl the 48th over, bowled a very tight one and here he is in the final over. Wrapped up the pad, it's all over. Aravind De Silva strikes, four balls remaining and Sri Lanka have made it by eight runs. This was the case in the first one international, four balls remained and see the jubilation in the Sri Lankan team. They richly deserved it, kept that ball in line with the stumps and although a lot of people would have questioned umpire Patirana's decision to give the batsman out, nobody would have questioned Sri Lanka's right to win this match. Excellent recovery, got the last eight Indian wickets for 44 runs in 14 overs of 64 minutes of batting. Azharuddin completed 4,000 runs, involved in a third wicket stand, which is the highest for India in one-day matches against Sri Lanka for any wicket. And three batsmen failed to score, four others failed to get into double figures, and Sri Lanka considered very few extras. That was the story. Inspired spell from Promo Divikram Singer, the highest wicket taker, but the spinners did the rest, bowled well within themselves, and bowled Sri Lanka to victory. A fine win for Sri Lanka at the Ketarama Stadium to square the one-day series one-all. Siddharth Vettamuni, the adjudicator, named Manoj Prabhaka man of the match and he received the award from the Honourable Minister of...